Today I'm showing you how you can enable behavior packs for MCPE on iOS. And if you're on Android, it shouldn't matter that much, so you should just be able to follow along. Now the first thing you obviously need is an actual behavior pack. I know most of you will already have one, but I did just want to say that I actually make my own behavior packs as well. Uh, you can see uh, one of them right here, Better Villager Trades. I will link my behavior packs down in the description for you, and I'd greatly appreciate it if you could go ahead and check them out. Trust me, they're pretty good, and I'm going to be using one as an example for this video. Now, once you have actually downloaded the behavior pack, you're going to need to locate it on your device. Android users, you do you, try and find the file. It should be somewhere in your downloads. For iOS users, I'm going to show you exactly how it's done. So you want to go into files over here and you just want to be in the browse area, which is the default area. They want to go to on my iPhone and then just write to your downloads. And here, if I scroll a little somewhere, there we are. SB64 is better villager trades. Um, I can see that if I click on get info over here, there we are. And it is a .mc pack. And that is very important. What that means is that when I click on this, it's automatically going to actually open up and import itself into Minecraft. You can try that for yourself. If that doesn't work, however, I'm going to be showing you an alternative. Press and hold on the file, just like so, and then click on share. Then something similar like this should pop up. Either way, you want to make sure that in this area, you are able to basically kind of just manually upload it into Minecraft. As you can see in the share menu, after a bit of scrolling, I can select Minecraft as something I want to share it to. So I can click on that and Minecraft will automatically open and the file will get imported. This is the exact same that would have happened if I would have just double clicked on it. However, for some users, they're not actually able to do it by double clicking and then that is the alternative. Anyways, once in Minecraft, it might actually have to load real quickly because of course you're just importing something and then now it should actually be imported. So that's right, we can click on play and then go to whatever world you want. Just choose any world and click on the edit button, which is uh, the button all the way on the right hand side of the world. We can go right over there. And then what you want to do is click on behavior packs right there on the left side, scroll down, click on behavior packs, because remember we're importing behavior packs. Then click on my packs. Here you will find all the packs that you have imported before. For me, in this case, it's only SV64's Better Villager Trades. Great. I can click on this and then I can click on activate. Now to use behavior packs, you can't actually have achievements on your world. But that's fine, we can continue. All right, now that I've activated, I can look under the active tab. And as you can see, under the active tab right there is SU64's Better Villager Trades. Great, now that I've done all that, you can simply head into your world. And here we are, now I am in a world. Oh wow, this is so janky. I haven't done this in like two months. Anyways, now my trades with villagers uh, I'm sorry for hitting you guys, um, are all going to be better because my behavior pack is enabled. Anyways, basically, that was that. Did the game crash? No, it didn't. Just the lag spike that lasted five seconds. Anyways, um, as I said, that was that. If you do have any more questions or stuff like that, then do feel free to leave those down in the comments below. For right now, though, thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.